What has eight arms and wants to hang out in your favorite editor? You guessed it, GitHub does. I'm going to show you today how to integrate Octo.invim into your favorite editor, which of course is NeoVim, and have a seamless and quick editing experience for managing PRs, issues, and reviews inside of NeoVim. What exactly is Octo.invim? Well, it's a plugin that serves as a UI layer over the really awesome GitHub CLI. If you haven't used the CLI before, definitely download it and check it out, but I'll show you how to include it inside of NeoVim. First off, let's check it out on the website. So if you go to Octo.invim and Google for it, then you should see this web page, and you can see some of the demos here at the top. Down here, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the installation. Like it says, install it using your favorite plugin manager. For me, that's lazy.invim, and we can grab this and get started inside of NeoVim. Now that we're back in NeoVim, I'm gonna show you how to do a review right inside your editor. First off, we wanna try and find the PR that we wanna edit. There's three different ways you can do this. Octo PR list, Octo PR edit, and whatever the PR number is, or Octo and the URL. For us, I'm gonna use the Octo PR list because I don't remember what the name or the number is. Once I run that command, I see we have this PR open and it's ready to review. So I'm gonna hit enter and it loads up. From here, I can go down to these little blocks where they're editable. And if I hit I, I can add a description here. And because this is in a buffer, if I save, then it will update on GitHub automatically. You should see in the bottom left hand corner that it saved and we're good to go. Now let's start our review. To do this, we're gonna do Octo Review Start. Inside this commit, I only have one file that got changed and you can see that it opened in a new tab. If I wanna go back to the PR, I can hit GT and it'll take me back to the first tab. But let's go back and check out this diff. Let's say I wanna add a comment. So if I go back to our first tab, go all the way down to the bottom and I do Octo Comment Add, once I hit enter, I should see a new comment here and I can add more description. If I write this buffer, then it should save and update on GitHub. If I wanted to add a reaction to one of these comments, like a thumbs up, then I can do Octo Reaction and then plus one for a thumbs up. And that updates immediately. I don't need to write the buffer for that one to be saved. If I wanted to run tests or anything, I can use Octo PR Checkout and then I'll actually check out the branch and I can run some commands. If I'm running GitHub actions on this PR, I can do Octo PR checks. The results can be opened up in the browser if I hit GX over the URL. Once I'm done with my review, I can do Octo review submit and I'll be prompted with a pop-up. In here, I can add more comments or I can just approve. Unfortunately, because I'm the one that opened the PR, I can't actually approve my own, which is fine. One thing I wanna call out is this does not automatically update. So you can do Octo PR reload and that will reload this PR with any comments that got added by others. If for some reason your background is all funky inside the PR editable fields, you can use this Vim command to turn off that highlight and make sure that you don't have any weird colors. For me, this was a really bright pink color, so I ended up turning it off. One of the pro tips that I recommend is doing this enable built-in and then doing this command where you can just run Octo and you get a really nice search menu. Let me show you that. If you do that built in, then you can see this and you can search for PR list and get right down to exactly what command you want to run. That way you don't need to remember all of them offhand or remember all the different keyboard shortcuts. This was requested by Josh. Thanks, Josh. And check out his YouTube and website down below. I'll link those in the description. He's also got some really good videos on productivity and how to integrate GH Dash and also Octo.invim, which I want to cover in future videos. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you really like NeoVim content, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.